Yeah, just uh, an incredible game, obviously, for us for many reasons. Uh, you know, to, to be in this league for almost 20 years, uh, knowing that you've got coming off two losses and you're headed up to play on the road against uh, a perennial power that's always in the top five and uh, and has been playing uh, that way this year uh, is a daunting task for our group and, and just so proud of how they responded today. Um, how we were able to start the game, you know, much quicker and better defensively. Um, to come out and go down in the third, to have the, the mental fortitude and the toughness to be able to then um, counter punch and, and get ourselves back to a position to be in the lead at the end. And then, then obviously to finish the game the way that we did uh, and being able to make free throws, uh, get stops, uh, just happy for them. Uh, they fought. They fought all year, and, and obviously we're not done, uh, you know, with, with with our season. But uh, we've been we've been through it all. Uh, but this group has been very steady and consistent in how they've worked, and, and today uh, they're going to reap, you know, reap the benefits of that. But um, just an incredible team win, an incredible win for our program. Um, and I try to explain to people when I was here in 2012, um, but I was at Gamble, um, you know, how that felt as an assistant, and uh, and certainly feels that way and, and even more as a head coach to be able to do this. But it just meant a lot. The game meant a lot for us. Forget about, um, you know, all things considered, it meant a lot for us with, with where we are in our year. All right, we'll open up the questions. Joe, what do you, how did you feel, sorry, how did you feel about your NCAA tournament a few hours ago and how do you feel about it now? Well, I, I'm smiling, right, I guess, but yeah. No, I mean, obviously, uh, we've got more to do, um, but this certainly was a win that, you know, I think at least we can feel good about that's going to be on paper that um, I think people will extremely, you know, respect, and especially on the road. Uh, we had work to do. I mean, I think we knew that. Um, and that's why I said that the, the impact of this game, um, and as I told our players in the locker room, we have to now get the next one and the one after that. I mean, it's still about the next game and, and being able to back it up. But this certainly, uh, I think, um, gives us a much better opportunity than where we were about you know three three hours ago. Joe, aside from that, can you just explain what this means for your program to beat a UConn program you hadn't beaten in 11 years, and what it does for the confidence of, of this team and you know their thoughts in, in terms of, of their ability to do this going forward into March? Yeah, I mean it, it's a. Uh, uh, impact for our program. Um, anytime you're going to be able to win a, a game against a, a top 10, top 5 opponent, uh, especially on the road, uh, it means a tremendous amount for, for the work that these kids have put in. Um, and, and again, to see their enjoyment in the locker room, uh, to see their excitement, uh, you know, is, is special as a coach. And it, it hasn't been that easy uh, in the last few years. And so, you know, for for these kids to feel this, especially the ones that have been here and have been through, um, you know, different experiences over their careers, it's it's an incredible feeling as a coach. And uh, the young lady to my right, who just, I mean, played out of this world today, um, is one of those players that deserves it. Daniel, uh, 21 points you guys scored in the first quarter were the most you kind of given up in any first quarter. And then fourth quarter, you just seemed to find a basket that whenever you needed one. What did you do so well offensively to keep UConn away? I mean, we just had to believe in each other. I think that was the main thing. We had to believe that we can do it, and we did. Um, we just had to, to keep moving, keep using each other. Um, we know that the game was going to be a game of runs, and they were going to have theirs, but we had to just, you know, stay with the game plan, and we were able to find our buckets and our baskets, you know, when we needed them because we, we have each other. Anyone else? Sure, you touched on a lot of the emotion of this accomplishment. I saw once you went through the handshake line, you kind of put your hands on your head. It looked like, I don't know if it felt surreal to you. I wonder if you could just share what kind of went through your mind after, you know, going possession to possession, earning that victory, and then finally stepping away from it and thinking about it for those first few seconds. Yeah, I mean, in any game like this, you're, you know, of, of this magnitude, you're waiting for that clock to kind of to hit zero. So when it hit zero, I was just checking to make sure I still had uh, two hairs on my head um, because I've lost a lot of it in 11 years, um, as, as my team tells me. But, um, but no, I mean, just the, you know, when you look at that scoreboard and the zeros are across the board and, and, and you've gotten the win and you've accomplished something that you said had to do that you knew was going to be a difficult task, I mean, it's, uh, 
I have to soak it in for a second, but um, you know, this atmosphere, uh, it doesn't get much better. You know, when you're playing in front of this amount of people and for these players to have that feeling, that's the best part about our league and um, and, and the best part about what I've had to, the privilege, I would say, to be a part of in 20 years. And, um, you know, so, yeah, I mean, I took a deep breath, really. And then I think Maria asked me if I was okay, but I said I was fine. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Okay. Danielle, can you talk about you're ahead at halftime. They come out and show those 13 points of the, of the second half. Talk about your team's res- response and what that says about this, this ball club and then the composure of Bailey down the, down the stretch to those foul shots. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I think it just speaks to the maturity of our team. You know, when we came in at halftime, you know, we knew that the job wasn't done yet. And we still had, you know, 20 minutes that we had to play and that we had to play as hard as we possibly could. And I think even when we came back and we got down, we didn't get down on ourselves. We just continued to play um, and see it through. And then we were able to go to, you know, some really good people at the end and we were able to get it done. Joe, for you guys to pull off this upset, Marquette did it for going. What does that say about the strength of the biggest tag against March? Yeah, I think we've said all. I mean, I've said all along. It's the it's the strongest it's been since, you know, I would say realignment if that's the word we want to use. But um, and again, you're talking to somebody who's been in it for 20 years as an GA and assistant, and and now for 11 years as a head coach. But yeah, the top to bottom right now, it's as strong as it's been. And when you look at even the teams that are maybe in the lower tier, their their net is above, you know, or, or I'm not sure where it is now, but we were above 200 with everybody, which whatever that means to anyone. Um, but they're better. You know, and I think the, uh, it, I think it creates a lot of parity, which is good. You know, I think it also helps all of our teams prepare for postseason because the games that you're going into now, I mean, you've got to be ready to play. And that's how it was. That was the beauty of how it was back in, uh, in, in the old league where you knew you were playing the number five, the number 10, the 12, 20 team in the country. You know, and we got an opportunity, hopefully, to get the most teams we've had in uh, since realignment, you know, and I think there are a lot of teams that are worthy. There are teams that are probably already that are already in, but uh, but yeah, the league is as good as it's been because of the coaches that are in it. That I think get you know are, are underrated at times, and even the players, you know. And so um, I've watched UConn since I was like 12, you know, and I don't care what anyone says, and and I don't say this after the fact, but like you see what what Coach RM has done here with every team he's had regardless of what players he has out there and you, you need to show up to play it's incredible to watch um, so um, you, you know it's the league itself um, I hope gets rewarded at the end